What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's Kyle here and today I'm making a new video. This one has to do with my truck. I have a 2014 F250 6.7 liter diesel. Um, most of you are familiar with your crankcase ventilation system, how your engine combusts and all those gases goes through a filter and then goes back in to your intake and uh, it gunks up your turbo and a bunch of other stuff so I have a package on the way and uh, we're gonna fix this problem and uh, so this truck will last longer and um, yeah be in better shape and we'll be breathing clean air not dirty air so stay tuned and uh, yeah I'm just waiting on the UPS guy I mean I already went to uh, AutoZone and got their uh, uh, shop towels you know they're nice deals they have $30 a roll um, we got this uh, PB blaster for those bolts. Should have sprayed that on probably like five days ago, but we'll see what happens with uh, a spray and then some cranks after five minutes. But anyways, I will see you guys when the package gets here. All right, well, I'm getting kind of bored waiting on the UPS guy. So uh, I I'll tell you kind of why I am doing this uh, CCV reroute kit. Um, I had an engine code pop up, went to AutoZone. It was all dealer codes. Um, I use my truck every day. I'm busy as heck. I can't go drop my truck off to Ford and uh, let them have it for eight weeks. But uh, yeah, they said they were two weeks out. So I was like, screw it. I'm going to do it myself. So I got online. I got these dealer codes on paper um, from uh, AutoZone. It was like P4 some some. I don't know. I'll have to get them later for you guys. But yeah, I got online. It was a crankcase ventilation system. Uh, it's either the sensor, the filter might be bad, might need a reflash. Who knows? But I did more investigating, and because uh, I didn't even know what it was. Uh, I'm not. I'm no mechanic by any means. And uh, so I figured out what the crankcase sensor or the ventilation system, the ventilation system was. And uh, it's when the oil in the truck heats up, condensation occurs. Uh, the OEM, the OEM uh, crankcase vent system allows the gas to escape. Uh, however, due to the stricter emission standards, the gases are now recirculated into a closed system introducing them back into the intake system. Now, why would you want dirty air going back into your intake system? It just doesn't make sense to me. That's just gonna ruin more parts down the road, you know? Um, I mean, so that's why, I'll, that's why I'm doing this CCV reroute. Um, I mean, I don't want my turbo all gummed up. I've seen, I've seen guys' videos and them take apart their truck from their uh, crankcase ventilation systems, and it is, it is gummy. It is nasty in there, and uh, yeah, I want this truck to breathe fresh, clean air, no dirty air. So uh, yeah, I'm just waiting on my package. Um, I may go up to uh, AutoZone and uh, have them print off these codes real quick, and uh, see if they could uh, take my take my uh, engine light off real quick because when I do this, I'm gonna disconnect my batteries and uh, then I'm gonna do the install and we'll see if I still have a code. But uh, if I do still have a code, I'm going to be doing some redneck engineering. Uh, I did find a little trick online. We'll see if it works, hopefully it does. But if not, no worries because I'm getting a tune on this truck anyways. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the easy link 2.0, but we'll do that in another video But all right, I guess I'm gonna go head up to AutoZone and uh, we'll take a look at these codes Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, let me get that in there for you. Probably need that. Yeah, 
Okay, I'm doing a CCD reroute today. Five codes. I'll take this in and plug it in and see where it's going. Okay, yeah, we'll go ahead and print that off. Okay. And see what we got. Sounds good. All right, thank you. Well, we are at AutoZone. Just got all the codes on paper. And uh, yeah, I had Bill from AutoZone here um, by Cave Springs. He's an awesome guy, super nice guy. Um, but yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five codes. Five codes. And uh, so I'm gonna go drive to my shop. Um, I had him delete my engine code as well. So as you see, we have no engine light at the moment. And I think the engine light turns back on after a two run cycle. So I'm gonna drive to the shop. Hopefully I have all my tools with me. Um, I guarantee you I'm very unprepared for this, but we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, we will go over these codes. I'll hop on Google and stuff and explain them. And then, uh, yeah, I just got a email saying my package was delivered. So let's check everything out. Stay tuned. All right, guys, back at the shop. I know I said five codes, but uh, the uh, P04DB popped up twice and the P20BA actually popped up three times. And uh, so we uh, have the P04DB. That code is for the, uh, pause, or the crankcase ventilation system. It's most likely the sensor or filter, whatever. It doesn't even matter because I'm deleting it. So that's taken care of. Uh, this P20BA reductant heater control circuit code that's with the uh, DEF or the diff fluid the exhaust fluid you uh, have to fill up every once in a while for these diesel trucks which is really annoying but uh, that's not a problem either because I'm getting that deleted as well so uh, yeah we have no issues here um, so yeah let's get to this package Oh yeah, here she is. I'm doing this unboxing in my truck because it's hot as heck outside. But uh, yeah, from SPE, Snyder Performance Engineering. Let's see what's in it. And as you can tell, I don't have my knife blade with me today. Dun, 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 dun. Alrighty, let's see what we got here. I already opened the box, guys. I already pulled out the instructions. So that's cool. Alright, looks like we got a couple beer diapers. Right on, right on. Yeah, I don't drink, but I don't know, maybe put a water bottle in there. Black and blue. Sticker. got the and this is the reroute kit so uh, yeah let me open these real quick boom all right look at that nice it's like a nice matte black a little gloss but yeah, it says SPE on there looks good and this is what makes all the magic happen right here plug that down there tie that hose on there and go right over the uh, the brake booster. So, let's get into it. All right, let's go ahead and climb up here. All righty, what are we looking at? This is uh, the crankcase ventilation system right here, right next to the fuel filter. Under this is your inlet and outlet. Um, this tube connects to the inlet to the intake right there that goes right by the turbo. So your turbo's getting all that crap. So uh, yeah, probably gonna remove this fuel filter first. And uh, there should be four 10 millimeter bolts holding this guy in. Should come out pretty easy. But uh, let's get some tools and try to rip her out. Alrighty, the first thing we're gonna do is uh, get to this bolt right here it's a uh, 11 size 11 so uh, the hot side intercooler piping 
I'm just gonna go ahead and twist this bolt. Loosen this clamp up. And we'll put her aside. So I'll just go ahead and loosen this up all the way real quick. So I got this bolt pretty loose. The instructions say just move it over so you have more room. But uh, I actually want to take this off and look inside it and see how much oil's in here. So let me see if I could tear this off real quick. All right guys, so I got her pulled off. All you gotta do is just push really hard and pull up. She comes right off, but look at that oil. That's insane. Jeez Louise. All right. Hopefully this fixes the issue. Yeah, that's a, uh, it's a lot of oil. So I'm gonna clean this out, put this back on here and uh, we'll mess with this tubing here. All right. Oil free. I will do an update video in uh, one month and uh, see if there's any oil in it. So make sure to subscribe to my channel. All right, let me get it back on. All right, the next step after loosening this bolt right here and moving this over, see how it moves, is to uh, get this get this off. But uh, you can see in the instructions, it has a different part. This is a 2014, but uh, it used to be a quick disconnect right here. You just turn and pull. Now it's uh, just one fitting on there. It's never coming off. So what you're gonna have to do, if you run into this issue, you just have to cut this off right here. Just uh, take a saw to it or, I don't know, a blade. And uh, yeah, just slice it right here. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, I'm just gonna take a blade to it. Seems to be pretty easy. Be a lot easier with the newer blade. I already see oil in there. A bunch of it too. Oh my goodness. Alright, that's disconnected. Rag under there. Let me get a shop towel and I'll show you how much oil is in this thing. Just gonna shove this down there. Oh, there goes the GoPro. Look at that. Look at all that oil and gunk going past your turbo. And that's not even in the, the ribs of it. It's on the outside. So I'm going upside down. All right. Yeah, wow. All right. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is uh, disconnect the inlet and outlet fuel filter connections. All right, if your truck is like mine, so I have a 2014, you have these two guys here. The green one, just go on the bottom and uh, pinch those two little tabs. And uh, this will just pop right up. 
have some fuel. That's why I had the towel. And uh, on the other side, there's uh, two clear little buttons. You just push down and pull. And they'll come right off. So let me clean this mess up real quick. The instructions say to remove this guy out of the way, but I am going to try and do it without removing it and see if I can make it happen. Um, I think it might be possible. So I'm gonna work on these bolts on this box right here. All right, these bolts are 10 millimeter and the first one is right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen her up and then All right, I see another one hidden right back here. And then uh, we'll search for the others. And I did not use any of that PB blast. I mean, I just broke this bolt loose and it's coming out really nice. All right, that first one is out. Here she is. Keep them in the tray so we don't lose them. We're on bolt number two. Uh, right between these fuel lines, you can see her back there. Right there. Let's see if I can get her on there. This is going to take a minute. Stay tuned. All right, I had to put the extension on. I went over the uh, gas lines. But yeah, they're coming out pretty nice. bolt number two all right the third bolt right back there you can see it right on the back of this box right there so let's get to that guy that third one back there is pretty tough to get to but once you get on it and uh just as easy as the other ones. At this point, I could probably just spin it off with my fingers after you just crack it loose. There's some sirens. There she is. 
Number three. All right, in order to get this box out, I think we gotta take this whole fuel filter off. So I'm gonna work on that real quick. Only two bolts, I believe. Yeah, there's bolt number two. Already loosened her up. There she is. I've been searching for this fourth bolt for a while now. And uh, it's right there, right next to this gas line. It's in a very, very tight spot. Oops. I'm uh, going to try and sneak under everything and get a small pair of pliers on it, maybe break it loose and maybe uh, untwist it with my fingers, hopefully. Let's see. All right, there's that fourth bolt right there. It's got a long screwdriver pressed up against this metal plate. It's the bracket that holds the uh, gas line. I just push it, push it over a little bit. It pushes all the plastic over and uh, I got it on there slightly. Um, I think I might hammer down a little bit. Oh, there she goes. I just popped her loose. All right. Yeah, they made it where that gas line, um, or, or they made it where if you unscrew this, it runs right into that gas line. So you might have to bend the, the top of the screw a little bit. All right, I'll go ahead and pull this one out and see what we got. All right, here it is. Oh. Oh, there she comes. Okay. Let me put these fuel lines up somewhere. Thing. Look at all that oil dripping in there. All right, I'm gonna have to remove my fuel filter um, for this to come out the way I want it to. I just have a little bucket with a trash bag in it. All right. There's that. Should just come right up. I got a tight, tight squeeze on that. Hmm. I'm getting caught on there. It is. All right. Oh wow, guys! Look at that. Look at all that oil that goes through. Holy smokes. Look at all that oil. Yeah. All right, she's out. All right, she's all off. All right, now what we're looking at here is, uh, this is the outlet. This is where the oil comes out. And this is the inlet of the return. Oil goes back in here and uh, that's where that filter took place and then all the gases and whatever all that crap would go through this tube and uh goes in the inlet right uh to your intake right through your turbo so next i'm going to be working on getting this hose off so here's the hose and uh the connection that I have to get off. I have to figure out how this is on there. Um, looks pretty complicated. There's a gray piece in the back and uh, that sensor is connected on it as well. 
But uh, yeah, let me see if I can figure this out real quick. I figured it out. There's three tabs. Just take a long screwdriver. Let me show you. Oh yeah, look at all that oil. Wow. But uh, as you can see inside, one, two, and three. Um, yeah, I just uh, was pressing on some stuff and it just pulled right off. But yeah, that's what's going through your turbo. Look at all that oil. It's pretty bad. But all right, we're ready. Time for some parts. All right, we got the SPE hose here. Um, this is gonna connect to this guy right here. Um, this is actually for the back of the crankcase outlet right here. Um, so you put this hose on as so, and uh, you have a heat shrink wrap. No need for clamps, zip ties, nothing like that. One time use. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Um, and then we have this really nice looking SPE cover cap for this guy right here. But uh, alrighty. Oh, and as well for the intake, we got this plug right here. And it does come with the zip tie. I think that's the zip tie, this uh, tubing up on the bottom I'm losing all my stuff here but uh i will get a uh clamp for that plug as well but uh yeah let's put it together all right i hooked up these pieces right here i'm gonna line it up how i want it just so i can see the spe i'm gonna have to sneak uh this line down first behind the brake booster I'm gonna get this tucked away and then uh, we'll do the heat shrink wrap. All right, I got this tube ran across or over this brake booster here. I'll uh, get down here and show you what I'm gonna do with it under here. So I just came down right here and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cut it right where these uh, SPE letters stop, probably a quarter inch after that. And then I got a hole right here. I'm just going to uh, zip tie it up right there nice and tight. And uh, I might cut it, I might cut it on a 45 degree angle. Um, probably not, no, I'll just cut it straight, but but yeah, that's how it's gonna look. Right there, it looks cool with that SPE right there. Yeah, the uh, the whole kit came with the hardware as well. So, we got new bolts and everything. And I uh, probably should use a torch for this. But uh, I got my lighter. And I probably should have done all that with the uh fuel all connected too huh <laughs> well i'll uh try it over here and hope for the best <sighs> all right i'm about to uh ladder up should probably use a heat gun or like a torch or something but uh this is all i gotta work with right now someone has all my tools cameron So 
So I'm just gonna go as best as I think it should be. And I'll yank on her too. Puppy's on there. I could do a little bit better job in the back. Oh, now I get some breeze <laughs> right when I want to use the ladder. I think that's it. That looks pretty good. Alrighty, let's bolt her down. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this uh, inlet cover on first because I don't wanna drop anything in my uh, oil right there. did come with the hardware comes with three uh, screws with allen heads and three washers um, fits perfectly now uh, let me go ahead and put this guy on then I'll tighten them all up alrighty next is the outlet cover trying to do this with one hand it's pretty hard I'm not about to lose one of these screws I'll be right back as you can see she fits like a glove got the SPE visible on the tube here next I am going to move this guy over and put a plug on her. Yeah, so pretty much with this inlet right here, they gave you this sleeve. Slides right over. And uh, you can either zip tie it Clamp it down, however you want to do it. Yeah, pretty simple. Just like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my fuel filter back in. Yeah, with this green clip here, you're gonna wanna pinch it again, pull it up, and then push it over and push down. The clear ones, the same way as you took it off. All right, I still have to zip tie down here. And cut it. Is 
some tough stuff right here. All right. Now. Here we go. Looks good. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and tighten up all our bolts. So I got two bolts for the uh, fuel filter. Got to clamp that up and tighten down the inlet and outlet, those new caps. Almost there. Alrighty, she is complete, guys. Look how clean it looks. Got both of those caps on. Got that plugged in. Got a zip tie on that right now, but when I get home, I'm going to put a, a band on it. Tighten her up real good. Got the hose, ran above and down, brake booster. You guys seen that already? Now it's time to uh, start her up after I clean up my mess. All right guys, she's all complete. I'm gonna go ahead and start her up. This is the second startup now. The first startup, I did not have that engine light. And uh, now I do have that engine light. So, it's probably the sensor that's obviously unplugged. I can uh, try that little trick I was talking about earlier with the uh, small piece of cast iron. But, it doesn't matter anyways because I'm getting a tune and it'll take care of it. I don't see anything leaking. Everything looks good. We'll see what happens. We'll take her to AutoZone and uh, have that code deleted. See, see if it'll stay off or what will happen next. But uh, running fine. So far, so good. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take her to AutoZone and see if uh, the performance is any different at all. All right, I'm sitting at a stoplight right now and uh, on the highway. And uh, I'm gonna press on the gas and with the box before I couldn't move anywhere. It took me forever. All right, well, I can't really step on the gas that much, but all right, let's see. Yeah, way different, way different. There is a huge problem with that crankcase ventilation system that Ford put on my truck. I could tell a huge difference in power already and I still had the engine light on. And uh, whenever I deleted the code with the normal box, I would feel 
normal power, but then when the light would turn on, um, it, it, all the power would just disappear. But uh, with this delete, the SPE CCV delete kit, um, I don't have that issue anymore, and my light is still on. So I wonder if I went to AutoZone still later on in the future and turned that code off or had that code deleted, what my truck would feel like. But I'm getting a tune anyways, so in my situation, I would just go to AutoZone and have uh, that light off for maybe an hour because that light goes off after two engine cycles, remember that. So, all right, that's the end of this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, I will see you guys next time. And huge shout out to SPE Diesel. Um, yeah, these parts that they sent me that I purchased online, they're uh, nice, nice quality stuff and it fits perfect, perfect. And uh, so yeah, I'll be giving them a really good review and I hope this helps anyone that orders uh, the SPE CCV reroute kit from spediesel.com. See you guys next time.